What's going on guys? Get you 1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and just today Rockstar has released to us 12 new screenshots. Now let me just tell you this is my favorite batch of screenshots released to us this far. All all 12 of these are extremely solid. So, what I'm going to do is break these down one by one and I'm not going to do a super super detailed analysis, but I'm going to point out the things that mattered to me. Maybe some things that you guys might not have noticed and you might notice some things that I didn't mention. That's all okay cuz like I said, I am pointing out what mattered to me. So, starting off with this one here, you can see we've got a wonderful scenery screenshot. Now, in the boat here, it's kind of hard to tell who it is. Uh, in my opinion, it looks to be Michael, and you can see that the water effects here are just awesome. The lighting and everything, starting at the very, very bottom of the screenshot up to the boat. Look at the reflections in the water there and the contrast in the color. It's just incredible. One thing that I've noticed on these current gen consoles is the particle effects on the water is still a little bit lacking. You can see the uh, the stream of water behind him. It's just kind of a, a little bit of a blur. The particle effects aren't that great, but that's just because of current gen consoles. It's nothing against Rockstar. It's just the, uh, the the capabilities of the consoles, but then you've got the mountain in the background there That looks awesome now to kind of put that into scale just how big that is look at those pine trees along the base of it There those are most likely full tri full size trees now uh, compare that to the mountain behind it That is a big 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 effing mountain, you know, that that's pretty big. And even the sky above it, we've never seen clouds like this in a Grand Theft Auto game before, so everything in this screenshot just looks great. But moving on to the next one. This just looks great. What you've got here is you've got Franklin base jumping off of a bridge. So this is confirmation of base jumping. I mean, that is awesome. Uh, we don't know if there's going to be a separate activity, like if there will be certain base jumping points and you can try to do things off them, or if, you know, since you have a parachute, you can pretty much jump off of any ledge in the game that you want and just kind of pull your parachute as you start to fall. But nonetheless, this is base jumping off a bridge in Grand Theft Auto V, and that is awesome. Up on the bridge there, you can see six to seven cop cars in a what looks to be the red muscle car that uh, Franklin probably drove to get there in a police helicopter. And once again, of course, I gotta point out the scenery. This just looks awesome. You've got a mountainside, the trees look great, and then look above the farthest left police car, you can see a uh, light white trail kind of going off into the distance. So that's gonna be one of those trails that wrap around the mountain that, you know, we're gonna be riding our dirt bikes on, four-wheelers, hillbilly trucks, all that good stuff, guys. This is gonna be awesome. Next screenshot. Here we have confirmation of yet another thing, yachts, in Grand Theft Auto V. Now as you can see here, this is called the Dignity, or probably the SS Dignity, and uh, we can see someone scuba diving. It looks like it might be Franklin, but it's hard to really tell for sure. But uh, first of all, look at the weather in this picture. Unlike most of the screenshots, you know, usually we see it when it's all sunny and beautiful, but here this is a little bit more ominous weather, you know, the, the clouds are a little bit gray, and you can tell it's kind of windy. Looking at the American flag also, you can see some of the, the best wind effects that we've seen so far. Um, in no no previous Grand Theft Auto game have we seen flags and things like that blow in the wind and look so nice and so natural. So that really looks good. And you can also see some white caps on the water. See on the left side above the Grand Theft Auto 5 logo, you've got some white caps going on. That also tells you that it's windy. So uh, this is might be from a mission and this might not be. It's really hard to say. Because in Grand Theft Auto 4 there was a yacht that you were able to get on, but it was only during that one mission, or maybe another mission, but uh, I'm thinking of one in particular. But you know, you had to blow the yacht up, kill the people on it, whatever, blah blah blah. But there were never yachts just kind of sailing around that you could hijack at any point. So it's kind of hard to say if this is going to be, you know, just a random yacht that you can hijack or if this is mission specific. But either way, it's a yacht in Grand Theft Auto 5 and hopefully we will be able to drive it. Up next right here, we've got some good old genuine relaxation with Michael, the businessman, the family man. Yes, of course, he, uh, he's got a cigar in his left hand there, you know, he's just chilling out, relaxing, maxing all cool, shooting some b-ball outside the school, or wait, no, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, he's just sitting next to his pool, and uh, he's got a cigar, and looks like he's got some headphones in, uh, looks like those are some iPod earbuds, so he's probably got the iPod going, or uh, in this case, the iFruit, of course, because that's what we're going to have music on this time around, and of course, some aviator sunglasses. You can see a little bit of a uh, reflection in the left lens there, so it's a nice sunny day. The shadow behind him looks great, mimicking his uh, his every movement perfectly, casting it on that uh, that cushion there. Looks awesome. And uh, one thing I want to point out, though, is look at the, uh, the stones behind him. Um... If you ask me, the stones on the right side, they do not look three-dimensional to me. I mean, if you ask me, that looks just like a texture. That looks to me like that is wallpaper put down on the, the ground, and that's what it is. So that's that's a tiny bit disappointing. I don't know, maybe it's just this angle. Maybe it actually will be 3D. Maybe this is, you know, just a, a bad angle, like I said. But in my opinion, that looks very flat. I don't see any dimension in that at all. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but hey, that's just me nitpicking, and if that's the worst thing about it, then I'd say rocks. Is doing pretty damn good. 
Also, notice that Michael is wearing a gray button down this time with a white V neck, so there's a little bit more of the, an idea of how character customization is going to go. Really, a lot of choices for clothes this time. You never really see somebody in the same clothes twice with these screenshots. Up next, we've got another screenshot featuring Michael, of course, this time in his business attire. Now, personally, I'm going to be keeping him in his business attire most of the time. You know, personally, I just like him looking business casual, just, I don't know, because you already have Trevor, who's going to be a total mess. I just like the idea of keeping Michael just clean and professional. Um, but back to the screenshot, we, uh, we've got a nice looking lens flare there off to the right side, and then off to the bottom right of that, you've got a nice little rainbow effect rolling off of that. That looks really nice, off into the tree there. And uh, Michael's holding some sort of handgun there, pointing at someone uh, we don't really know. And of course, the screenshot is backlit, and that, that explains why everything is so blown out. You know, you might be looking at this wondering, well, why is that tree so dark? Why are those buildings so dark and blue? When things are backlit like that, when you've got a very bright light source behind it, everything in the foreground of it is going to be blown out and dark like that. So that makes total sense to me. I like that. Great effects. Um, not too much going on in this one, though. Moving on to the next one. And here we've got screenshot number six. This is going to be the final screenshot of part one. Keep an eye out for part two of this video. But uh, we've got Trevor riding a four-wheeler, a quad, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, and let me just say, once again, awesome. Awesome screenshot. There's a lot going on in this one. First of all, I love the fact that they brought back four-wheelers in uh, Grand Theft Auto V. They're in San Andreas, and they're pretty fun, but they didn't handle very realistically. They turned on a dime, and you couldn't really roll them. So hopefully the, the effects and physics are um, improved on them. But you can see that he, he's going at a pretty good speed here. He's got a dust trail going behind him, and you've got some dirt and whatnot being kicked up, and he's being chased by a cop. Of course, when is Trevor not being chased by police? And he is in his favorite, like, underwear outfit, or short shorts, or whatever those appear to be, maybe boxer briefs, it's hard to exactly tell, but he's definitely not appropriate for, for public. He, he's not appropriate to be out and about. And this is either morning or sunset, uh, most likely sunset, but uh, you can see the sun rising slash setting over the mountains there, which looks beautiful. Another great lens flare. And you can see a, a power thing or a satellite something in the background there. Not totally sure what that is, but really that's that's not too important. And obviously this is taking place out in Blaine County. We've got the whole desert thing going on. It's dry. You've got a few weeds back there, but, but not too much. So, uh, personally, I cannot wait to just go out as Trevor and hijack a four-wheeler and just start tearing through the mountains and killing people and taking these police chases into Los Santos, still on a four-wheeler, like, where they don't belong, um, through all the neighborhoods and everything. That is going to be awesome. That That's one of my top things I'm actually looking forward to. So, guys, this was part one. As I said, look out for part two. Search it on my channel, or maybe it's in the sidebar, whatever. But check out part two of this uh, screenshot analysis.